and you can say whatever you like. Normal class, just like normal. <laughs> Take 22. <laughs> today by just coming towards the front of the chair, taking your sit bones towards the front of the chair, pulling them back if you need to, planting your feet down and just making sure that your knees are directly above your ankles and I want you to take two fists together and just place them between your thighs to make sure that you're hip distance apart, round about. Pick the shoulders up, roll them back. You can let the arms rest, palms facing up or palms facing down, whatever suits you better. Closing the eyes. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, just an open mouth sigh. Two more like this. Inhale. One more in and out. And just returning to your natural breath. And just gently taking your awareness to the soles of the feet down to the floor. And gently press the three corners of the foot into the floor. Just feeling that connection, feeling that grounding. And bring your awareness up the ankles. Soften the feet up to the knees, to the hips, be aware of the sit bones, pressing gently into the chest, soften the belly, allow the shoulders to fall away from the ears. awareness to the spine. Allow the spine to strengthen, straighten. Feel it lift gently towards the ceiling. Sitting up strong and straight. chin just rest slightly towards the chest soften the face <coughs> As you exhale, close the thumb in and wrap the fingers around, just making a gentle fist. Inhale, spread the fingers. Exhale, soft them back. <coughs> Inhale, and exhale. Just holding the fingers in like a little fist and you can gently just bring the arms up we're going to make some rotations into the wrist so just starting to rotate <coughs> it's going one way do about 10 rotations and then you can reverse it still sitting up nice and straight When you've finished your 10 the other way, you can just release the arms. Inhale. 
inhale, start to bring the hands up to the shoulder. Exhale, coming down. You okay, bro? Sorry. That's all right. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, relax. In and out. On this last one, just bringing it up and letting them rest here. Let's take it to the shoulders. Inhale, bringing the elbows towards the front, opening them up. Exhale, take them away. Remember, if you've got limitations into the shoulders, make your circles smaller. You can do them as small or as large as you like, but really try and synchronize the movement with the breath. So we stay connected to what we're actually doing. And let's do five, two more. breath in between and on the inhale you can start to take the elbows back open the chest lift up through the armpits exhale coming back sounds like we've got a winch on the back <laughs> which is weird since it's coming into summer Two more, using that breath. And release, just let the hands rest. Palms up, close the eyes. And just checking in with the shoulders, how the shoulders feeling. You may feel a little tingling into the shoulder area. few breaths here, checking back in. And opening the eyes gently, just let the hands again fall by your sides. Inhale, bring the arms up, only halfway. Exhale, soften them back. In. your own breath. Two more. And down. Let's take it up. So inhale, only going up as far as it feels comfortable. Exhale, soft back down with the breath, synchronize the two together. In, you can have your eyes closed and have the awareness of the shoulder joints or just soften the gaze if you like. I'm gazing out in front of you so you're not distracted by anything around you. Last one coming up and let's just hold it here. You can bring the hands together. You can interlace the fingers, make a little bit of a Charlie's angel with them. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, push through the left foot and just come over to the right a little bit. Really anchor through that left foot. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, anchor through the right, coming over to the left side. Really engage through the right foot, push it into the floor to anchor you in. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, release the hands all the way back down. We're going to do bilateral, so we're going to go up with the right and back with the left. So inhale. Remember, only go to where you're comfortable. Start to get a little bit of a swing going on if you like, just gently with a twist. And do one more 
each side. And coming back, letting the hands just rest, place the palms up again, softening the eyes, and just checking in how we're feeling in the upper torso. to inhale and as we inhale we I want you to lengthen up through the crown as we exhale we're going to come forward through the chest and we're going to slide our hands down the front just coming to where you're comfortable and then with the inhale you can come back around so we're just feeling our legs so we want to inhale exhale come down Inhale, gently coming up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, coming forward. Inhale, push through the feet to come up nice and strong through the back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, up. Here you come. Good. So from here, we're going to just push into the toes and we're going to walk ourselves around to the left. Sit. And you can push your left foot into the floor. Holding onto the chair with your left hand so you're nice and secure. See how half your butt cheek's kind of on? Yeah, I've got a bit of butt cheek coming up. So what we're going to do, <laughs> if only, <laughs> a little bit more than half, all good, all good. The chair, they're tiny chairs. So, <laughs> what we're going to do is that. Yeah, small chairs. <laughs> so what we're going to do is with, with our right foot, you can just toe the floor with your right foot. And holding on, I want you to hold on while you do this so you don't, like, so you've got some balance. You can just start to step the foot back a little bit and dropping the knee towards the floor. And then you can come back a little bit more to the leg of the second chair if you like. Or if you feel okay and you feel quite secure, you can start to push back a little bit more. So we're really anchoring those right toes into the floor. Remember, if your toes don't like bending like that, some of us don't really like that, then that's okay. You can soften it a little bit and come back. So from here, I really want to make sure that your left ankle is directly underneath your left knee. So we've got that 90 degree angle again. And then we're just going to square our hips off towards the front. And you can take one hand and place it on your hip. And if you like, you can leave your other hand on the back of the chair for stability. Now I want you to really push through the front foot and the back toes. Can you feel how it lifts you up from the chair a little bit? Yeah. Draw the belly button in, tuck the tailbone under and start to grow again through the crown. If you feel comfortable here, you can stay here. If you would like, I invite you <laughs> to bring the hands to heart centre. See how I invited you all? Yeah, if you feel off balance, stay to it. Yep, easy. Now, I invite you <laughs> to come all the way up if you feel balanced enough, taking the hands up towards the ceiling. So here we've got a little back bend starting. So now you really need to make sure you're strong into the back leg and strong into that front leg. Tuck the tailbone under, lift up towards the ceiling, but remember let those shoulders fall away towards the floor. Take the gaze up from where the wall meets the ceiling, just gazing up towards there if it's comfortable. If, if not, you can just look where else. A nice strong warrior one. Big breaths. Really feel the chest open with the inhale. Take it all the way up to the armpits. Feel that lengthening through the solar plexus as well. One more round here. And then on your exhale, slowly start to bring the hands back to heart centre. 
take the back of the chair and if you like bring the right hand to the back of the right leg and just soften it back. How'd you go? Right, it was bad. You felt warm? You felt warm? Yes. Warm? Felt, felt warm? Good. Warm fuzzy feeling? Yes. So from here you can put your little high heeled shoes back on and come back around to the front. We're going to do that on the other side. Yay! Walking to the other side. Keep that butt cheek just hanging off the chair and place the feet down. So this time, check your alignment. Is that right ankle directly underneath that right knee? Because <clears throat> that'll help anchor you. Take your right hand and place it on the back of the chair. <clears throat> Left hand on your hip. So you can just put the toes back towards the first leg of the chair. And then you can take it back if you like to the second. If you think, yeah, I'm okay, I'm balanced here, which all of you look pretty balanced, you can take it back a little bit more. Nice and strong into that right leg. You'll feel when you engage and you really press the, um, the three points of the foot into the floor, you'll feel yourself lift a little bit off from the chair. It's quite strong. So we're just now taking the hips and shoulders to the right. And if you're happy here and you feel secure, you can stay here. Because I know that you're working because I can see that all your legs are engaged. So I know what's happening, so it's fine. If you feel comfortable and you'd like to take your hands to heart centre, really press those feet into the floor. Lengthen through the back of that left leg with those toes. Pressing gently in. Start to draw the belly button back with the exhale. Lift up through the chest. Let the shoulders fall away from you. If you like, and you would like to take the hands up, you can. If you don't feel like it on this side, by all means, don't. Make a little pistol grip again. Charlie's Angel Girls. Lift up through the solar plexus. Push through that front foot. Warrior's really strong. So we're drawing that energy up from the floor, taking it up through the soles of the feet, bringing it up the leg, all the way into the solar plexus, storing this energy up. Really grounding. Feeling that connection. One more round here. Exhale, bring the hands back to heart centre. Taking the back of the chair so you're nice and supported before you move that left leg. Take the hands, soften the knee. You'll feel a little tingling as you bring it back. Little high heels on. Walking yourself back towards the front. Again, just sitting on the edge of the chair. Coming back to Tadasana. And just give the legs a little bit of a rub. How are they feeling, all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? That's quite strong, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's very strong. 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 <laughs> what you call I was going to say, what's the word that you call it? Warm. Warm. <laughs> okay, warm fuzzy.
If you think I'd like to take it a little bit wider, then you can pick it up and take it a little bit wider. But make sure that you've got both of your sit bones now on the chair. Can you see how they're quite balanced now? Yeah. Yeah, whereas before we were hanging off a little bit. So now they're quite balanced. And we want our knees and our toes to be going in the same direction. So if, if you've got quite a wide turnout, just, yeah, because you've quite, got quite a big turnout there. You can <laughs> soften it a little bit. <laughs> so it's not so, it's not so much into the hips because I know your hips. Yeah. Okay, so if that's the case, you can bring it back a little bit. And we're going to go over to a side bend. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our left elbow and let it rest on our left knee. Option one, you can bring up your hand and let it rest here. So inhale and lengthen through the crown and as you exhale, just come over slightly to the left. So it's only slight, but you can feel that through the right side. Now, if you would like to take it up a little bit, you can start to inhale, bring the arm up, rotate the palm and bring the hand and place it on the shoulder. Now, as you inhale, lift up the elbow. Look towards the foot if you like. And if you would like, you can inhale and start to lengthen through the arm. So you can bring it up towards the ceiling or you can bring it over towards the ear, whatever suits you best. But if you've got any limitations into that shoulder, remember, you can keep it bent completely fine. So lengthening through the fingers, if the neck allows, you can gaze up. If the neck doesn't allow, look where you're comfortable. And keeping those shoulders stacked, growing up towards the ceiling, lengthening through the crown, and breathing here. Big inhale, taking it into the right side of the chest. Exhale, soften. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. And out. Now on your next inhale, reach towards the ceiling. Use that length to come up using the core. And release. Cool. So just take a few moments here. You can have a few breaths. Just checking in with ourselves again. Just observing. There's no right or wrong way to feel. We're just observing.
nice and strong and straight. Inhale, you can start to bring the arms up. You may just like to go to here. You may like to come up to shoulder height. If you would like to take a little gaze, we're going to inhale. As we exhale, we're just going to soften the gaze, move your star gaze over the left finger, middle finger. And this is quite strong. So be aware of that grounding feeling, but yet we're light through the torso. Shoulders aren't up near the ears, we're softening them away. And we've got that movie star gaze over the middle finger. And remember, if the shoulders get sore, bring it back down. You can even take them to hands on hips, completely fine. You go to what suits you. We're going to reverse our warrior from here. So inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, take the right hand and place it just on the back of that right leg and lift up. Again, if you've got those problems with those shoulders, you will have your fingertips to the shoulder and you just lift up through the elbow. If you'd like, you can inhale and as you exhale, you can gently slide the right hand a little bit further down the back of the leg. Keep reaching up. Strong back right leg. Are we still engaging through the front leg? No. <laughs> Anchor it back in so the weight's evenly distributed. We don't want to Rest on the chair, we're still working here. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. Start to bring that left hand back. Good. How you feel, okay? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, we'll stay here for just one more and then we'll move. So we're going to take our left elbow and place it on the left knee. So see how I didn't come forward, it was just a slide, so I just slid over so my shoulders still stay stacked on top. Take your hand to your hip, option one, option two, you can bring it out if you like, option three, you can start to bring it up towards the ceiling. like you can start to slide that left hand down towards the foot reach up so to do this again you have to press into the outer edge of that back right foot I'd like to do that <laughs> <laughs> you can feel the it's a lot stronger so soften the soften the neck Jeannie that's it bring it back towards you and then just gently gaze towards your left foot yeah that's much better Inhale, lengthen, use the length up to the ceiling. Oh, excuse me. And come back, bring the leg back. High heels on, walking back. Let's just have a few breaths here. Evaluate how we feel. Evaluate, that's not a good word. That's not a good word. That's a good word. That's a good word. So let's just close the eyes again. You can let the palms just rest up. And just observe any feelings, any emotions, any sensations that have come up in the body. Just observe. There's no need to run away with them. Checking in with ourselves and being aware of how the practice moves things around. That might not move anything around, that's completely fine. But we're just checking in. Okay. 
opening the eyes gently. Can anyone feel a difference in the right hip? Yes. Because we've had that right leg back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it feels like, um, well for me, it feels like it's more spacious. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like it's, yeah, it's kind of got a bit more movement there. Yeah. I was going to say loose. Oh, yeah. Loose, loose is a good word. I'm sure we can use loose. <laughs>
down strong through the legs. When you activate, you can feel it. Draw the energy up. Or maybe you can feel it. I don't know because I'm not you. That's how I feel it. Everybody's different and that's okay. Let's take it into our reverse warrior. Inhale. As we exhale, let's take the left hand back. We've got option one or option two. No option is more important than the other. It's how you feel and what your body is wanting to do today. Tomorrow it may feel like doing something different. Recuperating. Recuperating. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Soften the shoulders. Keep active into those legs. Inhale, lengthen through the fingers and start to bring yourself back. As we exhale, let's take the knee or the elbow to the knee. And again, got option one, because you've all got your arms up, so that's fine. Or you can go up to the ceiling. So we're not dumping into that right knee, are we? We're strong through those feet. We've still got that back foot activated through the outer edge. Are we still strong into that back foot? Mm -hmm. Good. If you would like, and this is strong, so it's completely up to you. You can start to take the left fingers, no, right fingers, towards the right foot. Lengthen through the left fingers. Gaze down if you like. Or if you want to look up, make sure we get there correctly. So let's take our chin to our chest and then sniff our armpit and follow the line up to the thumb. Inhale, lengthen through the fingers, start to come up. Soften that knee. You can bring it back if you like. Put your high heels on and walk back to the front again. How you feel? Good, good, good. Yeah? Balanced again. Balanced again? Excellent. So, you can take your blocks. I've got two blocks for everybody under the chair. <laughs> I see that look. <laughs> Different heights and we've all got different skeletal systems. 
this isn't going to be the right one for everyone. So if it feels uncomfortable and that's as much as you want to do, just go with it and then we'll do the other one as well. So I know that you've done the other one too. From here, we're going to push through the feet and come up. So now we're activating those legs. <coughs> Draw your belly button back to the spine. Now pick up your right foot and bring your right heel as close up to your bottom as you can. Now bring up your left. Keep pushing into the chair, keep breathing. And see if you can gently bring the knees up. Oh. Can we feel that? Yes. <laughs> and keep breathing. <laughs> and soften down. How'd that feel? Hard. Hard. <laughs> okay, some things are hard. To get it up, yeah. Mm. yeah. So, did, were you working, yeah? You had to really work? Yes. To pull yeah. it up? Okay. I could do it when I thought of my arms and pressed in. Yeah, you've no. got to really mm. press in and open, and, it's, and then you've got to squeeze the knees together as you take it up. And that's what we do on the floor. We, instead of, when we do a crow, we don't crouch in, we don't curl in. We actually open everything up and everything's squeezing and connected. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, the body kind of connects together. So the chair's a really good way to be able to get those sensations. Because on the floor, remember you're holding your whole body weight and you're airborne. So this is kind of, it's quite similar because the chair's still holding you, but you're lifting your legs up and you're having to draw up and tuck the tailbone under and bring it in. Mm. So we're still doing, we're still doing the same, um, the same pose, but we're just using the chair to be able to help us get into that position. Yeah. Okay, so that's option one. Option two is you can bring the blocks in towards the feet, in the insides of the feet. And I'm gonna, we're going to actually play around a little bit with this because I find this one a little bit unstable. And especially if you've got boobs, it's mm. harder to come in and then squeeze together. So... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so option one is you can bring them to the inside of the feet. You have to make sure, because we've been at the back of the chair, you need to come forward so your sit bones are perched still on the chair and you need to be balanced. Now, taking the blocks to the inside of the feet, see how I'm pressing my knees into my elbows. As I press my knees into my elbows, I'm also pressing my hands into the blocks. So I'm holding it quite tightly. Now, there's almost there's a resistance. My elbows are pushing out because I'm opening up through the front of the chest. So I'm opening up through the front of the chest, so my elbows are pushing out, and then my knees are pushing in, and it's keeping me quite stable, and I'm anchored down through the hand. Now bring your right foot back, and keep pushing, and your left foot. Now really tuck the belly in, and push up, take the shoulder blades back, and gaze out in front of you. Yeah, little crows. <coughs> hold it up, hold those knees up, keep pushing in. And release one foot, and release the other foot. Coming up, so come up to the knees. Slowly come up, rotate into the wrist for me. So either way, we're still using similar muscles, close muscles, and we're also having the same benefits from it as doing it on the floor, but it's just a different way to get into it. And you have to pick what suits your body because I can't decide that, that's up to you guys. Was there one that you preferred more? Last one. The blocks. No, I was better with the first one. Better with the first one? Yeah. You don't like either? <laughs> <laughs> that was way too long of pause. First second, third, fourth, fifth, none. <laughs> How did you find it, Jeannie? Um, I found that last one that really pulled on my ankles. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah, that's interesting. So we'll stick to the first one. Which what one? if I want blocks? I don't want to yeah, <laughs> damn friend. <laughs> Guess what? Oh. <coughs> it's time to wash your bus now. <laughs> so, you can come down onto the floor if you would like, or you can stay in the chair. Completely up to you. Pop your bus aside. Yeah, you can stay in the chair if you like. Um, if you would like, we can pop a bolster underneath. I'll just grab. Pop a bolster underneath you and you can let the feet sit just so you can then 
me walking up to the camera like this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 stage you will have to finish making adjustments or else they'll go on forever all control over the breath. Allowing your own natural rhythmic flow to flow through you. aware of sounds in the distance, not labelling them, just being aware of them, letting them be there. to the inhale hearing the exhale see if you can fill your ears with the sound of your own breath listening 
really closely to the inhale. To the exhale. All other noises become white noise blurring into the background. sound you're really listening to is the sound of your own breath. <coughs> Take your awareness now to the crown of the head. Just sense the crown of the head. With the exhale, feel it soften. Feel the crown of the head softening, relax. Feel this softening starts to run around the back of the scalp. Feel it begin to flow over the forehead, coming down into the eyes. Let the eye sockets fall back into the head, the eyes heavy. This relaxation sensation moves down the nose, over the cheekbone. Feel the ears soften, fall towards the floor. Feel it coming down. The mouth, <coughs> the jaw slackens, the tongue rests gently on the roof of the mouth. Feel it melting over the chin, like hot wax running down the sides of the neck. The back. Feel heavy and relaxed. This warmth flows through to the heart area, right and left side of the chest, trickling the length of the spine, filtering out to the back, to the sides of the torso. Wrapping around to the belly. Feel the belly soften. Pelvic floor release. Feel it melt its way through the hips. Over the body. around the 
large muscles at the tops of the legs. The kneecaps soften. The muscles and tendons at the back of the kneecaps release. Feel it flow through the shin. the ankles, the tops of the feet, this warmth trickling out each of the toes and finally settling the soles of the feet. bodies connecting down to the earth. Feeling these points touching the floor. And becoming aware of the front of the body. And the space that surrounds Inhaling into this space. Deepening the breath. Gently moving the fingers and the toes. Taking the head from side to side. Gently start to move. Just yawning if you like. Stretching like you're waking up. Ready to continue with the day, whatever it brings. Namaste. 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 Thank you very much, everybody. It's different sensations, isn't it?